Hi, this is Sedalius with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a light on drive from, from 1.5 iExtreme to 1.51 iExtreme. I've seen a lot of people on, online in the forums uh, ask, having problems trying to get this done because they're using the wrong option. Uh, with If your light on has been flashed with 1.5 which there's no other version of iExtreme that will run on it. With the new Jungle Flasher, you don't have to go back through getting the key, the identify and inquiry files to make your dummy uh, .bin file in order to make your hack firmware. That's been taken care of, and you don't even need to use a probe. You don't even need to open the drive up in order to get this done. <clears throat> it's a very simple process, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm using a CK3 Pro connectivity kit to provide the power for the drive. Now you need to pay attention to how these drives connect up because with these particular drives they are very easy to plug this in upside down. And if you do that you will fly your drive if you turn it on. Now I've got my, now I've got my SATA connected up, my connectivity kit's connected up. We'll go ahead and turn the drive on. I want to eject the tray. I'm going to turn the drive off. And I'm going to close the drive about halfway. Now, usually what I do is I turn the drive over, and you'll see these notches on the back of the tray. I usually close that drive till it gets to that notch right there. That is what's called half closed status. And then I turn the drive back on. Now open up Jungle Flasher. Once it opens, I'm going to go to my DVD Key 32 tab, and I'm going to click on Dummy from iExtreme. I'm not going to click on Get Key from Get Key Create Dummy Bin Open the Source. I'm going to click on Dummy from iExtreme. That's going to go, all the commands is going to go across the SATA. And it, none of it's going to go across the serial port. So I'm going to click on Dummy from iExtreme. And it's going to want to save it somewhere, so I'm going to create a folder. Actually, I'm going to create a folder. And not a shortcut. I'm going to call it Light On. There's my inquiry, my identify, and now it's created my dummy.bin. And it's going to ask me if I want to auto load the light on iExtreme. I'm going to click yes. Now it's automatically put me to my Firm Tool 32 tab. It's already loaded the iExtreme firmware. It's already spoofed my source to my target. So I'm going to save that as my hacked firmware. Now, when I go back to my MTK Flash 32 tab, I'm ready to do the light on erase. It's going to ask me if I'm 100% sure if I've got the correct drive key. And I'm going to click yes. Now that's going to tell me that I'll need to send the vendor intros. I'm going to turn the drive off and back on in a quick succession one time. The drive should return a 0x72 status and a good device ID. I'm going to click yes. Drive those off and on. There's my status of 0x72. The flash chip properties populated with the uh, intros. I click on right. That's right in bank zero. It's going to erase during the light on erase. Whenever you click that, it erases the drive. So then whenever you write it, it's going to write 0 through 3, and then it's going to verify it. Now we can see that the write is verified okay. I can go ahead and turn this drive off. Turn it back on, close the tray. You might want to, these light ons are kind of 
peculiar, so you may want to eject it and close it back one more time. Turn the drive off. Close Jungle Flasher. Save your log file. Disconnect everything and put it back into your 360.